Gobekli Tepe itself was the end of a process, not the beginning of a process. It was it was something that marked, it was a marker. It was something that brought together the best of everything that they'd accumulated and, and created it in one place. The laser scanners just finished mapping the deepest layers of the world's first temple, and the results are sending shockwaves through the scientific world. Scientists have spent decades trying to explain how ancient people moved 50-ton rocks up a steep hill without horses or wheels. We've never before known or imagined even that simple hunter-gatherers could produce such spectacular monumental structures. Now a 2025 study has revealed tool marks that look more like they were made by high heat than by stone hammers. This site was built 11,600 years ago, yet the symmetry found in the stone enclosures is perfect to the millimeter. This discovery suggests that everything we were told about our ancestors is a flat-out lie. The Temple That Shouldn't Exist There is a massive site in the desert of Turkey that should not be there. It is called Gobekli Tepe. Most people think history started with the Egyptians or the Sumerians, but this place is twice as old as the oldest pyramid. It was built around 9,600 years before the Common Era. That means it is over 11,000 years old. To put that in perspective, the famous Stonehenge in England was built only 5,000 years ago. Gobekli Tepe was already ancient and buried when the first stone was moved at Stonehenge. This site is so old that it was built by people who did not have metal, did not have the wheel, and did not even have a way to write things down. Yet they created a megastructure that covers an area as large as 20 football fields. The site is made of at least 20 circular rooms. Each room has huge pillars shaped like the letter T. These pillars are not just rough rocks. They are beautiful monoliths standing up to 18 feet tall. Some of them weigh as much as 50 tons. 50 tons is about the same weight as three large school buses stacked on top of each other. And here is the kicker. These stones were not found on top of the hill. They were carved out of the solid bedrock at the bottom of the hill and then moved up to the summit. Modern engineers say that moving a 50-ton stone up a steep grade today would require heavy-duty cranes and a team of experts. These ancient people did it with nothing but their bare hands and some rope. But it is not just the moving of the stones that is strange, it is the art. Every pillar is covered in detailed carvings of dangerous animals. You can see lions with their ribs showing, angry foxes, scorpions, and vultures. These are not simple drawings. They are carved in what is called high relief. This means the animals stick out from the stone. To do this, the carvers had to remove all the stone around the animal, leaving the figure standing out. This takes a massive amount of time and skill. If you make one mistake, the whole thing is ruined and they did this on one of the hardest types of limestone in the world, using only other stones as tools. The official story, we are told, is that these were hunter-gatherers. These were people who spent all day just trying to find enough berries and meat to survive. They did not live in houses. They did not have cities. But that story is falling apart. Hunter-gatherers do not have the time or the food to support a team of hundreds of stone carvers for years. They do not have the organization to move 50-ton rocks. To build a site like this, you need a massive amount of extra food, a way to organize thousands of workers, and a reason to stay in one place for a very long time. This site proves that someone in the ancient world had all of those things long before we thought it was possible. But the most terrifying part of the site is not how it was built, but how it ended. Around 8,000 years before the Common Era, the people who used this temple did something unthinkable. They did not just leave, they did not let the wind and rain destroy it. Instead, they took thousands of tons of dirt and rocks and buried the entire complex. They made a giant man-made hill to hide their work from the world. It stayed hidden for 10,000 years until a farmer hit a stone with his plow. Why would a civilization spend centuries building the most beautiful temple on Earth only to bury it in the dirt? But the true nightmare was hidden just beneath the surface. In the year 2025, a team of researchers decided to use the most advanced technology on the planet to look at these stones. They used three-dimensional laser scanners that can see details smaller than a human hair. They also used artificial intelligence to look for patterns in how the stones were cut. What the AI found has left the team completely speechless. 
Most people think ancient people just hammered away at rocks until they looked right. But the computer found that the pillars were placed with a level of mathematical precision that is scary. The AI looked at the centers of the three oldest enclosures. It found that if you connect the center points of the pillars, they form a perfect equilateral triangle. The sides of the triangle are even to within a fraction of an inch. To do this, you need to understand complex geometry. You need to know how to measure long distances over uneven ground with perfect accuracy. Remember, these people supposedly did not have rulers or even a way to write down numbers. Yet, they were doing math that we usually associate with the Greeks thousands of years later. The computer also looked at the tool marks on the stones. For decades, we were told that the pillars were shaped by pecking. This is a slow process where you hit a rock with another rock over and over again. But the 3D scan showed something different along the edges. The AI identified linear cuts that are perfectly straight for over three feet. The width of these cuts is only about 0.1 inches. This is extremely thin. When the computer compared these marks to known stone tools, it could not find a match. Stone tools usually leave rough, jagged edges. These cuts were smooth and clean. The data suggests that whoever built the pillars had a way to cut through solid limestone as if it were soft wood. There is no evidence of metal tools at the site. No bronze, no iron, nothing. In fact, if they had metal, we should find rust or chemical traces in the stone. But the stones are clean. This leads to an uncomfortable question. If they did not have metal and stone tools, could not make these cuts, what were they using? The AI analysis of the surface texture showed that the stone was not just cut, it was almost melted in some places. This brings us to the machine signature problem. When we use modern machines to cut stone, they leave very specific patterns because of the way the blade spins or moves. The AI found patterns on the pillars that look more like they came from a machine than from a human hand. The spacing between the marks is too consistent. The depth is too perfect. It looks like the work of a robot, not a tired human working in the sun 12,000 years ago. This discovery is horrifying because it suggests that there was a level of technology on this planet that we know absolutely nothing about. Soon the scanners would reveal a tool mark that defied all known science. The Fire and Ice Secret One of the biggest wow factors found by the new research is evidence of something called thermal shock. Scientists found scorch marks and heat damage deep inside the limestone quarries. By using chemical analysis, they found that parts of the bedrock were heated to between 750 and 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. That is incredibly hot. To get limestone that hot, you need a massive controlled fire. But they did not just burn the stone. They also found signs that cold water was thrown onto the hot rock immediately. This is a very advanced way to break stone. When you heat rock and then cool it fast, it shatters in a straight line. But to do this and create a 50-ton pillar without accidentally breaking the whole thing is almost impossible. You have to know exactly where the natural faults are in the stone. You have to control the heat so it does not go too deep. The fact that they were using this method 11,000 years ago is a massive curiosity. It shows they were not just hitting rocks, they were using physics and chemistry to do the hard work for them. And get this, the heat marks were not just in the quarries, they were found on the finished pillars themselves. Some of the detailed carvings of animals show signs of being smoothed out using high heat. It is almost as if they had a tool that could melt the surface of the limestone to make it look like glass. Modern stonemasons use high pressure water or diamond saws to get this look. The idea that someone was doing this at the end of the ice age is putting it lightly when we call it a mystery. It changes our entire understanding of the human story. The crazy part is that this fire and ice technique appears out of nowhere. Usually, when a new technology is invented, you find a lot of mistakes first. You find rocks that exploded because they got too hot. You find pillars that cracked in half. But at Gobekli Tepe, the very first pillars they made are the most perfect. There is no learning curve. It is like they showed up on the first day, already knowing every secret of the stone. This suggests that the people who built this were not starting civilization. They were continuing a tradition that was already thousands of years old. So, if this knowledge was so great, where did it go? 
Why did the people who knew how to melt stone and move 50-ton blocks suddenly stop? The site was active for about 1,500 years. Then it was buried and forgotten. The people who lived after them in the same area went back to living in simple huts. They forgot the math. They forgot the physics. They forgot the heat. It is as if a giant reset button was hit on the human race and we were forced to start over from zero. The reason they buried it might be scarier than the site itself. Everyone is obsessed with how Gobekli Tepe was built, but the real mystery is why it was buried. This was not an accident. It was not covered by a sandstorm over time. Scientists have found that the dirt used to cover the temple was brought from miles away. It was a mix of limestone rubble, animal bones, and flint tools. They used over 10 million cubic feet of fill to create the hill. That is enough dirt to fill up the Empire State Building 10 times over. This was a massive engineering project just to hide the temple. But here is the deal. When they buried the site, they did not just dump dirt. They placed specific items in specific places. They found human skulls that had been carved with deep grooves. They found statues that had been smashed on purpose and then placed face down. It looks like a giant funeral for a civilization. Some researchers think the burial was an attempt to eliminate the site. Maybe something happened there that was so horrifying they wanted to make sure no one ever saw it again. The AI analysis of the burial mounds found something even more disturbing. The dirt was packed in layers that suggest the burial happened very quickly. It was not a slow process over decades. It was a race against time. They were trying to hide the site as fast as they could. But what were they running from? Some scientists think there was a massive comet strike around that time called the Younger Dryas Impact. This would have caused floods, fires, and a sudden drop in temperature. If the world was ending, maybe they buried their most sacred place to keep it safe for the future. Basically, Gobekli Tepe is a time capsule. The people who built it knew that their world was going away. They knew that the golden age of high-tech stone carving was ending. By burying the temple, they made sure that the weather and time could not destroy it. They left it for us to find 10,000 years later, but now that we have found it, we are realizing that our ancestors were much more than we thought. They were master engineers who understood the stars, the earth, and the power of the atom long before they ever held a plow. Is Gobekli Tepe proof that we have been lied to about our own past? If ancient humans had machine-like precision, are we just waiting for the next reset? Like and subscribe.